as in fortune dragon Cover with a struck My how lovely and peaceful and really amazing this garden was So we spent quite a lot of time Just walking around and enjoying this Chinese garden It's quite big now I'm, I don't really know a lot about Chinese gardens but I think my love for this kind of gardens were largely influenced by the Chinese films that I used to watch in the 1960s. You know, growing up in Kuching there wasn't really much to do, there was no television and we used to go to the cinema to watch Chinese movies and they all have these beautiful, lovely gardens. Chinese gardens are traditionally uh, unique because they blend different elements together. There might be uh, some ornate buildings, some natural elements like rocks and water. And they usually have a pavilion or, you know, I don't know what else you can call them. I think in our museum garden we had one called a tea house. It's just like a shady place where you can actually sit down and relax. And it's surrounded by beautiful rock gardens, flowering plants, trees, some water elements, and with fish. Now I know that a lot of Chinese gardens have walls, and the walls are usually white in colour which is a good contrast for the flowering plants uh, they should show up and you can really enjoy them and I think the you know, traditional design of Chinese gardens are quite old they, they date back to the, I don't know, 1600 BC and um, I think the affluent families and the royal families had huge gardens and they usually have these walls that separate them into different sections, uh, giving them a lot of privacy. Sometimes the gardens are laid out in a way that you cannot see the entire garden all at once. Uh, instead, there will be different paths and scenes set up, and you can wander through the garden, coming upon, you know, one design to the next. Each one is different. In this particular garden, they have things like the Chinese zodiac animals. Uh, they also had the god and goddesses. Sometimes rocks are chosen for their shape, uh, texture, and as artists who carve the rocks, maybe they look for the hardness or the softness of certain rocks as well. Now this bridge here is particularly amazing because it's built in a zigzag way and going across a very beautiful pond and as you walk across the bridge you don't go in a straight line but you walk zigzag it takes longer give you more time to enjoy the water isn't that lovely? The atmosphere here is amazing. You feel like you know you're cut off from the rest of the world, and you just want to relax here and forget about all your worries. The willow trees, really nice blowing in the breeze, and some of the architecture might house little temples and prayer rooms. I love those colourful lanterns hanging there. And there's a golden horse sculpture. I guess horses were a very important uh, animal for them. Oh, look at that doorway, that ground doorway. Isn't that beautiful? I love that. My dream to have a garden like that. And the lotus is another important feature of a Chinese garden, Chinese culture. And the 
Leslie had a lovely Chinese bridge. So this garden is located in Yongpeng. Where the fortune dragon is. So besides uh, visiting the dragon, you have the opportunity to enjoy this lovely place. We were there during midday, so it was a bit hot. But if you come in the evening, you know, I think you should be lovely and you probably can spend more time out here in the garden. for watching don't forget to subscribe and we'll look forward to showing you some more next time